Look, it's totally <laughs> fine. This Mariposa is going to take four minutes probably for anything to happen. Oh, we got arm from Chisato again. I'm hoping we see this vehicle lab, man. I really, I'm curious to see exactly how he plays it because it's really not a uh, that traditional of an open, uh, and you know, it, it, it's really probably not going to be that crazy. But it's not something I've seen before. Variation is always fun to watch. Stardom, of course, you know, pretty pretty normal. Core bot lab, shockingly. Gonna 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 open for 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 res bots. It's gonna open for you know cons. No units probably, because who who really is aggressive on a map like this? With the classic petrol around the lab thing. Yeah. Stardom. Yeah. Why does he do that? I don't think I've seen any very many other people do something <laughs> like that, right? Like it's it's. I always do it too, but. Not around my lab like that. Just what, where what I want lab? my units to be. The uh, the patrol. He sets a patrol. Oh, right, yeah. Like I, I don't know. It's it seems like what it, what is the benefit of this? I guess right. Like he's just being quirky. Just being quirky. That's fair. You know what? I'll accept that. This looks like the identical queue that we saw in the game that uh, you know just saw his power went out. So. Should be interesting to see where he's going to go from here. Same position? Same position, yep, right in the middle. And, uh, and it looks like it's just going to be a little greedy. Just, no, I, I don't even want to say greedy at this point. Like, he's just expanding first. Like, he's not making any, any units to harass. He's just expanding. So greedy. Very greedy. Like, yeah. Like, I don't know. You see this? You made a constructor. It's like of it's store rovers and blitz. It's Mariposa, right? Like even if he opened rovers, like it's still gonna take <laughs> like a thirty seconds to drive across yeah. the map. Like it's fine. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to play a Rotato game the other day, and I hopped on and I watched Choice open seven bot con on Tartar Step, and then I was like, all right, I think I think I'm good. No, so even just, that's just not greedy, you know? Like it's just it's just efficient. It's just he's just he's just making cons because cons are the best unit. Although this rover is uh, going to be slightly annoying. Stardom is going to spot that Chisato has gone. No way does he actually get away with that. Okay, yeah. Trying to be a little cheeky with that that rover, it will end up dying. Oh, he is spawn. He does spawn the resbot, but with the grunt here, I would not be surprised if it gets shoot away. Oh, already three blitzes made, and two more coming. Like like, there's a decent amount of blitzes coming across the map already. He's kind of sacrificed early e-production I guess almost I guess that's the resbot uh you know benefit right or eating the trees you, you can kind of afford to make uh or you can kind of kind of afford to have a little, little better energy economy whereas chisato has gone for for three blitzes but even then they take so long to get across the map and stardom is so much time to react I, I don't that's gonna be hard for these blitzes to get value well He's trying to go for his own little counter harass with with the grunts, but yeah, the blitz here really need to deal a bit of damage for the compensation, not having access to resbot plus. Stardom is expanding on two cons. Do you see any hope here for him to get damage? I mean, it's it's like Star has so much time to react, and it's and it's really like like and grunts are faster than grunts, so it's hard to defend. He can he can split up the blitz though, right? So we see like left and right oh. side. He's Ooh, there we go. There we yeah. go. Gonna snipe the con. Gonna get the mexes. Maybe gonna get the. Yeah, he should get the con. The other blitz is getting shoot away. Did he commit to the to the con on the left side? We'll we'll see. He's got. Oh, he actually stopped driving with those two blitzes oh. and ended up losing one of them. But he does get the other one. He is gonna get this mex and probably tag all the solars on the way out. Oh, he's going for the reser instead. Nice. Yeah. Ooh. Big Even the build already. power on the commander, just walking away from the lab, right? Oh, and Stardom's commander idle after that, as he's microing all the grunts. Means yes, he is. He is totally build power powerless on his lab for for a moment, getting his own return damage. Got a con and a and a max. Yeah, that's what you don't want. Is a losing a losing a vehicle con versus a grunt. Oh, he might lose another one. 
Well, Chisato did a lot of damage, but he is, he is frankly, for only two grunt investment, is taking quite a lot of damage. Doesn't lose the the second con, but it does lose every single mechs on, on that cluster, as well as this con. And there's a lot of grunts coming across. And, you know, Star is already starting to res all these, too. Like, and with easy access to res bots, like, he can, you know, res, res the units that uh, Chisato sends at him. He can res the ones he loses. He can eat trees. Like, so much versatility in, 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 the, in that unit. Whereas Chisato, you know, he kind of really cannot afford to be losing these these cons and these these mexes. Well, this is a lot of grunts coming at Chisato, yeah, yeah. and I mean, and, I mean, let, yeah, I mean, let's not forget grunts. Uh, grunts trade really well versus Blitz. Like they have superior range. Like with proper micro, they can trade out super well. Kind of hard to like close space against the blitz, like moving, advancing in towards them. But it looks like on the left side, is that con gonna go down? No, he's gonna lose a couple of mexes. Does not lose the con. He will lose the mexes, and you know, he he did force Chisada's attention in 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 that direction, and now these these grunts are going for another con. Missed micro from Stardom. He's not actually gonna get that con. He is getting basically every every max that Chisato owns, but uh, I mean, if we look at the metal income, he actually has just like Sardom hasn't managed to expand much on his own. Uh, I guess deciding to res wait to res these mexes instead of remaking them. That's a lot of resbots. Was that five, like seven resbots? Uh, yeah, six six resbots. Uh, no, I yeah, got seven. Yeah, seven resbots. Wow, that's a pretty pretty big investment in resers. I mean, I guess there's a lot of trees. Like, there's there's a lot of things to res. I mean, I guess you can, you can get pretty good value with it with how much fighting has been going down. Uh, he could, yeah, he could get lucky too, being in the right place with um, them, like resing, resing units. UD's commander is stuck. He was trying to get out. Oh no! <laughs> how do you guys feel about the just taking all those C maxes with the Anfib cons? I feel like it's relatively safe, safe expansion, right? Why hasn't UD dropped one yet? Wants to that's go a, see? That's a good question. It's definitely I know they, safe they, expansion, they, but it, it's it, slow. The beaver is really bad. I guess if you open vehicle, I kind of, I'm kind of with you. Of like, does he have time to make a beaver, like a beaver, right? Like, because they are kind of expensive for what you're getting, and and realistically, like one beaver expanding in each direction is going to be very slow taking those maxes, right? I wonder, uh, like, yeah, I, I, I probably agree with you. We'll probably see something like that soon. Uh, and Star deciding to open uh, his his air lab as his second lab choice. Ooh, just thought of might get another con, and I would say should get another con, even if the res bots are are sitting there on standby, ready to res all of these, and uh, at least at least slows down Stardom a little bit. It seems like Chisato is stabilized, right? Was that one, two, three, four cons expanding? There's one in the back just adding on wind turbines. So maybe the slow, rocky start he had at the start is kind of over, right? I mean, he's got, he's got production in the main base. He's expanding in all directions right now. He's harassing on his opponent's side of the map and transitioning to air, which to me is signaling, okay, maybe he's going to make fighters to shut down the Shuri's, but I was thinking gunships, right? Uh, oh, maybe. Yeah. I need the pressure, right? There's a lot of territory on a map like this to harass with uh, the gunships. You know, even just, just flying around sniping mechs is, is a pretty big annoyance uh, if, if somebody's air economy isn't there. And like you said, he is actually opting for a couple gunships in the queue, or what well, he was. <laughs> a little indecision, maybe, here, in deciding what to actually make. But it does look like it is gunship time. Yeah, he's opting for oh, those air cons, yeah. which uh, he could use to expand into the water, you know, a little mm. faster than the uh, than the uh, beavers, right? And he called it. That's what he's doing. He's grabbing the the C maxes with them. Which I guess you know the benefit of the air con here is it also gets the the mountain maxes, right? 
Like you can do you can do the sea and the the mountain mixes and like that. And there's a lot of metal in 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 in, in that lane in those two lanes I guess uh, to have access to. Uh, this is a big push in mid. That is a lot of grunts. Um, with blitzes behind them, some resurrected blitzes, right? I spilled like, my pistachios. Uh, like I said Come earlier, it's my kind of hard to push into the blitz, right? Mr. They're Clean. easy to kite, uh, easy to kind of engage with, but if you want to take ground away from the arm player, you're kind of asking for trouble. I think that's what's happening right now, right? Yeah, this is, uh... This is a very kind of dangerous fight, I feel like, for Chisato. I mean... Well, I was thinking that then he actually totally cleaned it up, but like uh, I guess most of this is blitzes of his own, so uh, it's it's kind of I think I would say it went the way of uh, of Chisato, right? Like he it left a lot a lot of, of reclaim on on his side of the field. Although I guess Stardom is already starting to res all of these. Yeah, that was a lot of tempo, right? So imagine if those grunts were attacking left and right. Like, you'll see that isolated con on the right side. Yeah. Stardom now has access to Armada units, maybe. He will use that. Just resurrected <laughs> the Armada Constructor. That is kind of funny. He does. The, he, do, he did just revive an Armada Constructor and does have access to, uh, you know, the, the ability to start making his own arm, arm units. Whether or not we see him do that, we'll see. I I kind of hope maybe somehow we do, but I I, I somehow kind of doubt it. Mind controlling a probe and yeah yeah. Gregory or a drone or SCV. That is kind of funny. You you really don't get to to see that very often in a game like this. Well, uh, it looks like. Uh, Stardom has opted for his own medium tanks, and and they are just now starting to hit on uh, hit mid. Whereas Chisato, you know, also you know what his own his own medium tanks, his own mine layers as well in the queue. The air fight looks like it's probably going to go Chisato's way, as he's invested much heavier into uh, fighters. All of these mechs on the right side getting cleaned up by these these blitzes and grunts. Yeah, that's a nice pickup. Uh, I also, I think I see a, a mine layer out here for Chisato, so already, you know, maybe thinking about a transition at some point, setting up these defenses. But yeah, on the on the right side mid, this is all getting cleared out. Even the medium tanks brought up to kind of shoo away this army is getting um, harassed. Uh, unfortunately for Stardom, he didn't quite catch and find that expanding con. It doesn't look like, yeah, he decides to turn around instead of going for the con. Kind of surprising, actually. Maybe he doesn't, he, I guess with the, the poor vision of the blitzes, yeah, he just doesn't, oh, he actually does, he sees it on the radar. I was thinking maybe he didn't see that it was there, but. See, uh, two gunships from Chisato made it to the back line of just, uh, of stardom, but there's, there's no expansions there to harass even, actually. Uh, and they're just going to run right into the fighters now, and, like, yeah, the idea is there, but stardom preemptively already countering it, uh, just with his own, his own fighters that he made. Makes it a little rougher to get value from it. Well, this air fight is still continuing. It is a lot of, uh, like, uh, like I guess Chisato cannot afford to let Stardom get air control because then he has to worry about Shuri's, but, you know, Stardom kind of in the same boat has to worry about, you know, losing his mechs to gunships or, like, you're not really going to probably fight army with them, but, uh, like, this air fight is, is very important. This... Uh, go ahead. I was going to say, look how many pounders are driving across the map. Like, <laughs> just now arriving. Oof. That is going to be very hard to fight into. And, in fact, like, Shisato has to run. He's losing a lot of tanks here. Kind of kind of looking at this game state, and I, I feel like Stardom almost has an advantage here. I mean, Shisato has the water, but if we look at the minimap and zoom out, like, Stardom has has the Blue Ridge, the plateau. I mean, I think Chisato is desperately trying to control like that bottom ramp, but Stardom has like two thirds of this high ground and a big reclaim field at the moment, uh, kind of sitting below those pounders, so. Oh, also, Stardom is now tier two. He is so. tier two. He's kind of e-stalling on this, which is, is definitely gonna slow down his tier two mechs. 
Oh, can I pause, this man says. Imagine pausing. Battle paused. Imagine pausing. Uh, will he then open up Twitch and, and go see if maybe, uh, <clears throat> maybe Chisato's cooking something? <laughs> Look, surely Sardom would not do that. We trust this man. Yeah, Yudi's making commands. So. Yeah, Yudi is abusing it. <laughs> yeah. uh. Alright, so do you guys remember when Blueprints launched how everyone was like, oh my god, these are going to completely destroy the game? It's funny because I feel like I don't see anyone use Blueprints like at all with the exception for like wind. Do you guys use Blueprints? I no. Don't mm, see no. many people use them at all, right? I had a thought where maybe I make like a massive expansion blueprint for some very macro maps, like like the air constructor on the Mariposa, for example. You see the bottom left yeah, from UD. You need a really big queue for all of this. So I was thinking maybe I get one of those, but I never bothered to do it. I'm just watching UD like perfectly adjust like all of this little commands here. <laughs> yeah. Two minutes? <clears throat> the almost identical time it takes of to catch up to the delay? This this guy. Shameless stardom. Absolutely shameless. Sucking <laughs> uh, <laughs> guy. UD, UD out here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Sato could probably walk away from the computer for the next 10 minutes and the game will just play itself. He's got it all planned out. Ugh. I'm this wondering... Rough, like, yeah. oh, was just, oh, go ahead. What were you saying? Oh, I was going to say, he can, like, perfectly queue up all the mines, too, right? Like, exactly. Like, normally you kind of spaz out and just praise those where you think you need them. But, yeah. I mean, on top of all the other things he's doing right now. I feel like mines are something like I wish you like that would be interesting for blueprints like an actual like mine defensive thing but like mines don't work still right with with blueprints I think. Uh, I mean, you can shift, drag minefields. I don't know why. I guess that's do. true. I guess it would be like combo the minefields with something, but even then, it's like what what really like what do you, what tower defense shit are you making? <laughs> you know, like the game games are too fluid for that. I feel like. Yeah, I feel like the only time you'd ever really be able to use them would be, like, if you played the exact same position on the exact same map, and so you would have something for oh, it. Maybe. But I feel like... Glitters. Every <laughs> other... Yeah, like, frontline glitters or something. I feel like in every other situation, it's like, you're going to put pork in a different place, and you're going to put different kinds of pork, depending on what you're fighting. Yeah. This is the game... Too much of bars, it depends, you know? Like, you can't really... Like, that's kind of, like, I think the main drawback of Blueprints is, like... It's not really that much that you can consistently do on every single map you play. I can complain about my air player pretty consistently. That's true. <laughs> you know what? You can always complain about the air wow. player. Always. That's on my ping wheel. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you put the little helpful uh, emotes that Narn also put on to make sure that you really cemented home the point on your ping wheel of what you needed. No, the Sprizzy ones, I have not, no. Yeah. I should at some point, probably. You gotta find the most obnoxious, just just really drive your team insane uh, emotes to put on there. Right, maybe we might play a little different. Normally when I play, I'm trying to win. Um, I don't know if you... Uh, this is bar, we don't do that here. Okay. 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 I play to have fun, man. Yeah. I don't know about you all. We say winning for tournaments, okay? That's, that's it. That's all we do. Everything else. Is... Yeah, you should look at you should look at start on point of view. It's really interesting to get into the Wait. thought process when when they're on pause. Wait, why would he draw the solars like that when he has like he has time to do perfect commands? What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, I was thinking it's kind of interesting the uh, like. The no wind at all, even as core. Is that... I mean, I guess the wind's at 6 right now, but... I feel like even as... To cut off you know, on this map, you have infinite metal. You can't really go wind. I guess that's true. That's true. BP cost is, is pretty high when you kind of just don't want to be spending all that BP and energy on, on wind that, like... 
You can just kind of. There's also this beautiful solar. transition on maps that are large like this. When you're Cortex, you just go from solar to fusion seamlessly, very quickly. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. You know, star calling you can't out. Can't really do that as a armada or just as a wind enjoyer, right? Reclaim wind is really bad. Yeah. Takes too much build power to reclaim. <laughs> I don't know if Chisato can complain here. Yeah, he literally did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Started pointing out that his commander is, uh, like, literally in the, kind of a crazy spot. Like, he could die very easily right now. That's a little wild. Now, you know, as I have just been zoomed out, Battle like we're just started. gonna assume Chisada doesn't make a beeline for the right and just run his commander down. Oh, we're back into it, and uh, oh. yeah, like you were saying earlier, like, like when you do this tier two transition, if you don't have like a pretty solid army lead, like you are in a weird position where you just don't have any army, and Stardom, I think, is kind of in that position. Like, if you look. If you look at army value, he's less than half of Chisato, and and he did just point out, he did just tell Chisato where his commander is. I wouldn't be surprised if if Chisato runs at him. And he's uh, has one tiger out. He stopped production on his T2 lab even to do to do something. I'm not sure what. I guess I, he's trying to cap some mexes right now. Yeah, I think it was the mexes and the Eastall, Maybe I'm I'm not 100 percent sure either, but. He's definitely uh, running for the hills, and actually looks like he's gonna get his commander out. He will reveal the tier two, and you know, with with tigers coming out, I wouldn't be surprised if I go look at Chisada's base right now. And these are being, you know, not micro. Yeah, we're gonna see a tier two lab of his own. Although opting for jaguars. Do you think jags are the the right play here when you're fighting into tigers? Yes. You think? You think? Like, you're what's not fighting the... tigers? You're just going around you're the tigers. You're going to go around the tigers. The base. Okay. Fair enough. Such a big map. I guess in a map like this, that's true. There's so many, like, if you if you do run into the tigers, just, just fuck off and go somewhere else, I guess, you know? <laughs> it makes it makes sense. Kind of getting word for stardom, uh, like, all these air cons have paid themselves off uh, in dividends, right? Like, the left and the bottom side. Excuse yeah. me, right in the bottom side are all capped, right? That yeah, radar is up. And you know, like you were, you were saying earlier, like it looks like Chisato was being contained. Like he had very little map control. But if you zoom out now, like it kind of actually just looks like Stardom is being totally contained in his main base. C planes? Bottom right? Oh, he swat he ate the uh, the naval lab. And, and yeah, he's going for uh, some sabers of his own or to. I, I'm gonna assume be the the final punch to kill Stardom. Uh, I think once the fusion is online, it's gonna be a good play. But until then, it's just wasting energy when you're t just arriving in tier two. Yeah, this e stall with the wind being at six is definitely not helping him right now. Oh, he's making cons. He's making the fusion and sabers all at the same time. It's kind of painful. Yeah, the, the eleven gunships it cost him seventy thousand energy. Like just a casual aphis in energy. Totally fine. Although it looks like he has pawns in the lab. The fusion is done. And uh, I'm assuming either going to go back into production or you think he prints fighters here just to have the, the, the tier 1.5 fighters or will overwhelm stardom zone. He might need that. I'm, I'm kind of worried for, for UD. There's a lot of tigers in mid. I mean, yeah, there's stouts on top of them. But... Yeah, I think he's going to add the more ground unit. Then the second fusion, then go back to sequence. Now, Stardom is making his, a fusion of his own and does have multiple tier 2 mexes up, but. I feel like he already has a T2B lab, though, right? So those sabers are going to get like one reveal, and then there's going to be flak trucks out, so mm. it's a little scary. I think they're going to have to get a lot done with that one movement. I guess that is true. You know, like it's when you see sabers have like their massive value. It's usually like at the the period of the game where you don't have a lot of answer to them. Whereas you know, at this point of the game, you kind of have a whole lot of answers to them. You have your own air lab. You have flak trucks, like you said. Like you have tier two anti-air. Like it, 
it's it's not it's not like you're fighting into tier ones. There's 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 a lot of answers for for sabers at this point. Yeah, the thing though with sabers is the flak truck is very slow. So if you're doing a raid, now your your raiding unit, your tigers that you're using for raid, can only go as fast as the flak truck, or they cut out of position. So it slows down the raiding. Just the fact that there is three planes. Ooh, he did lose a few of them there, but does manage to get air control. Tier two, the uh, the tier one point five seaplane fighters, uh, definitely winning that trade. Those deal with tigers fairly well, right? I'm kind of surprised tigers. how well actually with how tanky tigers are, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and compared to like their T1 gunship counterpart, I mean T1 gunships are atrocious at dealing with like medium tanks, right? So it's interesting to see how good these gunships are at dealing with tigers. Yeah, Stardom kind of just doesn't have an answer for these at the moment. They're just kind of doing whatever they want. They're just slaughtering tigers. Shisato has bulls in the front door of multiple different angles. And and I don't know if Stardom has an answer to any of these things. The flak truck is out, and the sabers are just kind of casually flying into it. Actually manages to save some of them. I, it looks like he lost most of his fighters, or yeah. He, he had more being made, just not rallied up, but... These sabers aren't kind of totally exposed to any sort of fighter uh, action, I guess. Yeah, Stardom's been totally contained. He's 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 down to very few mexes, and if, if we're just looking at metal income, he's a metal produced. He, this is reversed very quickly. Right, right. I think that pause might have tactical pause might have. Uh... <laughs> benefited Shisato a little bit. I'm looking at the bottom right, and like that whole island is just like this eco hub. Yeah. Tons of build power. He's gone for like, yeah, the T1.5 air transition, which has really done well for itself and is even readying his uh, Aethus transition, right? So. Yeah. Shisato with the, the pause turn based uh, macro gaming, I think, is definitely a little bit stronger than Stardom's, it looks like. And, uh, you know, it's. It's, it's kind of reaching those points, or maybe has already reached those points of just sheer macro differences that I, I, it's going to be really hard to recover from. Uh, even going for the tick stream now, which is really where I think arm shines at this point in the game where you have like just this flood of ticks, like soaking up shots, right? Scouting for you, even getting harassment damage, I'm sure. Like at, at some point we'll see, but for now... I think Chisato just has to defend this little like push on the right side, and uh, like what would what would Stardom have left after this? I mean, I kind of feel like this, like you said, this is kind of it, right? Like this is this is Stardom's last gasp, trying to do any sort of damage to Chisato, but Chisato has another pretty large bull army uh, pushing into Sh uh, Stardom's front door, mm -hmm. and I I don't know if he has enough to deal with either of these armies. Hearing, oh, subs dying or shooting and dying to uh, urchins in the water. Uh, Do, does Chisato have an Aphus already made in his main base? Is that no? He can't. That right? No, that's the two fuses. Yeah, the two okay. fuses. <clears throat> that would be crazy. Like I don't know. I blink and he makes an Aphus in his main base. All right, I, like I don't know. I would. I wouldn't put it past him, but. Yeah, this is like this many tigers is I feel like I feel like gonna struggle to fight into basically even number bulls. It is not really where you want to be on the tiger uh, versus bull matchup, right? Kind of looking for having the the number advantage. I like how he's holding the ticks back, right? He's not. Well, until, as soon as I say that, <laughs> right? <they just> doesn't <laughs> he hits the go button. He's waiting for you to say something. Yeah, Stardom does have a lot of res bots behind this, and is is resing a lot of uh, these these lost units. But I mean, with the ticks yeah. coming in, it's uh, it's kind of this is this is where arm strengths like if if they're not being totally outnumbered by the tigers, and like you got like no answer to ticks, this is kind of where arm's pretty strong, and and he's he's definitely showing that. If you if you have a, this much of a macro lead, twenty two bulls versus uh, thirteen tigers is is a little rough to fight into. If we're being totally honest, 
And by rough to fight into, I mean, how how do you fight into this? I feel like you fight into it by going to the next game, maybe. Okay, I don't know. Shivas. Shivas? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe. If you want to smash a T2 army, nothing does that better than Shiva's, you know? Yeah. I guess that's true, actually. Like, the, the clumped up bowls, the Shiva's would, would, would get some pretty pretty high value. Yeah, he just doesn't have a medal for it right now. Yeah, he... he frankly, I, I just doesn't have much of anything. Like, he has almost no mechs. He, he has good energy. He's not e-stalling. You know, Chisato's actually e-stalling pretty decently. He's banking 12,000 medals. Not something you see very often, but... Well, Chisato is also breaking out the legendary uh, build Fusion and Eifu at the same time. Nice. It's nice. working out for him, okay? He needed the energy right away. So <laughs> fusion makes sense. And a Gantry. Yeah, he's making Gantry, Razorbacks. He's making anti -nu He's making all this energy intensive stuff. And, and it, it, it looks like finally his energy is going to stabilize. And I, I mean... Core vehicle doesn't really have a good answer to Razorbacks at all, right? Like it's just once that first Razor gets here, I don't think Chisato has an or no, I don't think Stardom has an answer, right? Oh, you got that Zars is... getting a ticks, oh, right? Yeah, a lot of sabers. Yeah. Oh, a lot of Shuri's shutting down like a lot of these bulls, but I mean, you know, fighters pretty good at that. And yeah, just uh, Zars are actually trading pretty okay into Razors. Zars? Really? Yeah, they are, they are. That's crazy. Yeah, the AoE is so big, you have to split up your Razors so much to take an engage on Zars. I don't, you know what? I'll be totally honest. I don't think I've ever seen anybody kill Razors and Zars. I, you're pro I, I'm not saying <laughs> you're wrong, you're probably right. I just have never seen anybody do that. I don't think I've ever been in that situation. Like you just split them up randomly like you would in the team game, and you made them fight command that Sars would come up ahead, mass for mass. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, Stardom, he's just decided, you know, that what, there's just no no way. And to be honest, he's he's half the economy of Chisato. I don't... I don't see how you That's get wild, that. Dude. That's so crazy. <laughs> but, he's got Marauders flanking around, right? Even if that was like, you know... Shiva's from that game versus uh, versus Andy, right? But and you know, usually people were talking about like the one-two punch. Chisato had like four different punches lined up, all to just hit one after the other. If one didn't work, the Razors was gonna work. If the Razors didn't work, the Marauders are gonna work. Like there's 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 a lot of different things about to hit Sardom. Uh, Sardom versus Chisato on Ravaged. Uh, GG. He already right, walked. This is to Stardom's the pick. <laughs> I'm interested to see what Stardom gets. Wait, who already walked? Uh, Stardom, he didn't take the con the, the mechs to the right of his commander. He, like, turned left and, uh, walked, like, a little bit. So. Oh, man, game's already over. That's how it goes, right? Wow. I've heard. That's the map he picked, too. Imagine. Well, these are pretty unbalanced spawns, correct? Yeah, it's not that bad. So, out of curiosity, why why would why is Star spawning on this two mechs, making solar and wind, when he could spawn on the the other two mechs and make titles? Like, what's the benefit of doing this one? Uh, if you're making titles, you're farther away from moving out with your commander, so the okay. price you pay is lower expansion for making the titles. Which so he's... is why I don't think the mismatch in spawns is that bad. Okay. I, I could see that. That makes sense. Like you want to get your commander out quicker in almost every every game mode, right? It kind of makes sense. Right, right. Um, Chisato going arm again, and even be playing this like super greedy four max before lab start. So we saw somebody do this during the tournament. I can't remember who, but they opened four max with an LLT before lab covering the ramp. I think it was Patak, maybe. Uh. I know Sashorn opened uh, opened up Formex before before Lab versus X Factor in his game. Yeah. Uh, I, I I'm not I'm not sure about attack. Yeah. No, I think it makes sense to do it. You're walking for a while, right? The downside is if like you're playing Alt F4 and he just makes one X ticks and then so <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're like you're paying the price for uh, for your greed, you know. It's a small map, right? Like that first tick coming out that gets across the map very quickly. But you see Sardom open like a really early grunt just to, I guess, incentivize not dying to, uh, you know, one tick. This is interesting. He just has, you know, he went and capped those two mexes. 
without assisting the lab, right? So, and already has this con expanding, so perhaps he might be up in metal. Right now he's down 250 metal, uh, which is quite a bit. Oh, we'll yeah. It should close up pretty quickly, right? Like, with him getting these mexes up much quicker than Chisato? Like, he's expanding with another con. We'll, we'll see. Um, this is interesting because, like, wind is so low and Chisato was, like, was pretty stubborn about making solars. So he actually has quite a bit of metal in the bank. And maybe this is kind of equalizing the game in Stardom's favor, right? Yeah, Chisato might be up in metal, but he still has a lot of that starting metal still in the bank, right? Yet to be put on the board, so... Yeah, he yeah he's got five hundred banks here. He actually is. I mean, now that the wind is or he's not east stalling as bad, I guess he uh, can maybe start spending it, but doesn't quite have the BP yeah, for it. Centurion in the queue for Chisato. Wait, really? Three oh, centurions? Oh yeah, this is um, this is what he likes to do on these small maps. It's like um, Centurion Tech Resbot with the commander is really oppressive. Like if you can get a snowball going with it. Um, it's very hard to deal with. I don't think Stardom is going to give him a chance at this. Stardom win this game? Like, like ah. you can't defend two grunts with four ticks, right? Like, I mean, Chisato is kind of caught with his pants down. He is, he's hes panic making the ticks now. He might actually catch this one grunt out and... and... That was a nice catch. Uh, denies the MX, but this is this is denying the metal expansion, right? So it's like, I mean, look at the income difference. Uh, yeah. Oh, he does monkey. get the one grunt, though. He should clean up all these grunts, but he, I mean, he slowed down the expansion. He got the mechs. Like, Chisato is grabbing this one, but, like, Stardom already has this expansion. He's this one finished and is going for the next one. Like, right, Chisato's got a counterattack right now, but, I mean, there's an LLT already finished on, on bottom mid. There, um, maybe this LLT finishes on the left side. I. I feel like, I I feel like Chisato's in kind of an awkward spot here, right? Like, yeah, he he does see what's happening though, right? I mean, that radar should reveal where those grunts are at on the left side, and uh, the first Centurion's out, and the second one's on the way. So this is where he's gonna try and get the snowball going, right? Uh, wh where he chooses to attack is going to be interesting, because really it's like you can't let the Centurions get degunned. And you want to get the value out of the repair, like that. That re this, the way they synergize with the repair, whether it, whether it's underneath a commander or a resbot, is where, where they're gonna really shine. Pitches two grunts oh. with that centurion. We might see a quick game here. There are there are literally just commanders just are facing off already. Centurions waddling forward. I <laughs> I did not know but centurions apparently have become a real unit. Since their, uh, their their slight improvement, I, or I guess bug fix maybe is probably better to better to call it. I mean, they're nice on this because they're so hard to flank because his map mm. is like so choky. Very true. And I guess if you've got if you've got good micro, you know you don't have to worry as much about them uh, being degun bait. They're not bad against LLTs either. Um, they have a lot of HP, so like even this like single centurion can, might be able to force on, on the left side. This is beautiful on the right, just gonna shoot away those grunts. Like, yeah, he loses the mechs and a radar, but like, um, centurion. He had the res bot right way. He's yeah. ready to repair the res. Part of me just loves that he's only making centurions right now. I like I I did not expect to see this. Like the last time, I think it was either the last BPL or it was Jazz's tournament where Chisato was on this map. He was making like rocket bots, like a like a normal game, and now I'm watching him make centurion on repeat. I did not expect to see this. Sure, right. that's centurion resbot on repeat. That's true. That is very true, and I love it. All right, that's great. He actually killed one of the rocket bots and and is pressuring them pretty decently. <laughs> there are just centurion hunting packs like running around on each side <laughs> yeah how do you stop this like i mean yeah. the LLT on oh. the right it's not gonna stop it just not just calm is in a little i mean it's rocket bots and th i guess actually there's thugs there never mind that is not just rocket bots this is a little dangerous for chisato i feel like picked in the main for uh for chisato oh he actually got a tick in He's not making his own rocket bots. Okay, he's decided, you know, how many centurions is this? Ten centurions? That's enough centurions. Okay. How far are these going to go? They're killing reinforcing thugs. 
Wait, they killed all these thugs. Wait a minute, are Centurions OP units? Wait, what's happening here? Stardom's calm has to be careful. These Centurions are bullying it. Yeah, they just don't die, man. Uh, they outrange commanders. They have more movement speed. They have a shit ton of health, right? So He is being encircled by Centurions. That is a sentence I don't think I've ever said before, but that is currently happening. There are Centurions everywhere. Oh. I don't think you can get out of this one. Star's dead. Okay. There's a lot of yeah, meat waddling at him. And there he goes. Wow. GG? 2 0? <laughs> I did not expect that. I'm not going to lie. Didn't, didn't, I mean, I expected Chisato probably to win. I love that it was with Centurions. I'm just going to leave with that. I love it.